I wanted to do some mark making and drawing with um, a brush or a pencil that would give me um, more interesting marks. So I made myself um, this brush with a, made out of a stick from the garden and a length of twine which I attached to the end of the stick. Um, and I really had fun um, exploring the sort of marks that you can make with a tool like this. Just dipping it in some black paint and seeing what I could do. The other thing I wanted to try out was using leaves and um, different types of leaves and different types of plants to get different sorts of effects. I'm just curious to know what sort of marks they would make and so um, this brown um, is a bit of um, acrylic ink and I'm just dipping the, um, that's actually a piece of rosemary, and um, dipping that into the ink and seeing what, I, what comes up. Um, it was a really fun exercise and I've been wanting to get quite loose with my mark making recently so this seemed to be an obvious thing to do. Using the colour shaper I'm then um, sort of spreading around the wet ink and wet paint on the page just to create um, different sorts of marks. This is just completely experimentational. I've got no idea really what any of this is going to do but it's just fun to, to look and see. And now, I, having done this, I love these marks so much that I think I'm going to include them in my paintings um, just as a way of making the surface more interesting. using a tiny little bud as a drawing tool um, on a, it's actually a dandelion weed um, gives me a different mark, a thicker mark than all the thin wispy ones that are on, the, on that page. Now this mark is made with the colour shaper scraping away wet paint and, and leaving the, some paint dry and I really like that random type of mark there. Um, and this type of effect is created when you have gesso underneath and wet paint on top. And this is a bit from an olive tree. And back to my homemade brush. And this is a rosemary twig. It smells absolutely gorgeous. And I've just dipped it in the water to sort of spread some of that ink around. And now I'm going to scrape through using the colour shaper again. And that water just lifts off some of the damp paint and so you get these lovely lines. As you can see there, and I've just taken away some of the excess water there. Now I've dipped a comb into um, some of the paint and I'm just spreading that around, seeing what sort of marks that gives me. I just love how delicate some of these marks are and there's just no way you can create that sort of surface effect um, without, lo without losing control of what you're using to put the paint on. So now I decided uh, to do another couple of pages and I thought I'd work white on black and black on white and see what, see what sort of effects I could get with that. So I'm just using the same leaves and the same type of tools again and dipping them into white paint and using a bit of water and using the acrylic inks as well. I really like how, how organic um, these marks 
uh, are and by building them up and layering them on top of each other you get start to get this feeling that you're sort of looking at some sort of cellular level or um, you're looking under a microscope or um, into outer space or you know it's like an it's like another world really and um, I just love that sort of effect and the possibilities of using different tools and, lo and losing control basically to make these sorts of marks it's really fun I love the thin filminess of um, that acrylic ink over the top of the gesso. And now I'm just exploring, printing with bits of paper, seeing what sort of effects I get and using the string um, and rolling that and seeing what effects. I'm really just playing and exploring. I don't want to use a paintbrush, I want to keep it really loose and uh, just be experimental with this, seeing what sort of effects come up. I really enjoy layering up lots of different um, types of marks so that you look through to other, other marks underneath and then coming in with a pencil and being very intentional about putting some writing and some letters and things like that in. It's really fun. All these marks have been quite so accidental to come in and actually put something in that's controlled. That's an opposite and so I'm in this one I'm kind of exploring how that control will look next to um, all that looseness and no control when I put those other marks on. Okay so I seem to have created a man. <laughs> But that was a really fun um, exploration in my sketchbook and it's certainly given me some great ideas for building up a, a really interesting and dynamic surface. I just love all the, that layering up of all those different effects without control.